what's up guys welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in so ari fletcher did dinner with the dunn and queen niger was the special guest now they got into a conversation and ari revealed that she does not want to marry money bag yo because she does not want his eight baby mamas coming for her money if anything ever happened to money bag yo's money I want, I want to get proposed to, like, I want to so have you want to get proposed wedding. to, but you don't want to get married. I, I, want to have, I do. I want to be married without the ring. I mean, without the paper. Like, I don't want to sign on that. that right. Okay, so get married under, like, a, like, something else. Spiritual. Like a, um, I, I, you I, could. Like an alien. Yeah, like, but I just like don't a, under a something. Like, like, under I, a, I heard somebody got married under a trust before or something like that, but. I just I don't want it to be, like, God forbid something go on, like. And now you you won't have my money, and my nigga got eight kids. No, but do a prenup. Know. So I, you know, his baby mama can come after me. Yeah. So like, yeah, they put him on child support. I want child support too. Okay, so, I didn't I know that you were all that. Uh -huh. You can do all that. Yeah, y'all be coming as one. Yeah, you wait, 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 one. Who? I can understand what Ari is talking about, but you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. Now we're going to move on to the next topic, which is about Cardi B. So back when Cardi B was doing love and hip hop, she had a makeup artist and this makeup artist had some things to say about Cardi B. So the makeup artist Trissa P said, I don't have an NDA with Cardi, but she was extremely rude, couldn't pay $80 for her and her friend's makeup, a washer throw food across the floor, punch swift in the gut, get up while I was doing her makeup and lay in the bed and go to sleep. She yelled at me. She asked me to see a picture of my daughter and asked if she was part Chinese because of her eyes and the story goes on. She was never on time or prepared and her booty overlapped her leg. She also had a hickey on her neck when she was talking to a boyfriend on the phone in prison saying she was loyal. Uh, it feels good to get that out. Now this was before Cardi B became as big as she is now so I know Cardi B has everybody signing that NDA now because look at this situation. And for Trisha, I mean, you do makeup, that's your career, you do makeup. Who's going to want her to do her makeup after she went and spilled all this tea about Cardi B? Anyways, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that as well. Moving on to the last and final topic, which is about Future's baby mama going off on the rapper OMB Peasy calling him broke. Peasy about the internet. When I had my daughter, everyone was saying I was doing it for clout. I did it for money, blah, 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 blah. But I was fucking with my baby daddy since 2017 on and off. And I just happened to get pregnant. Um, and then I got with OMB Peasy, who don't have more money than me, that were, lived in my house, that used my cars, used my jewelry, didn't, couldn't afford no rent. I did that shit out of love. Y'all was trying to stay out with him for money, but that nigga don't have no fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Like... And then you guys was always trying to bash a girl and say she's with somebody for money and shit. But then on the flip side, when we do deal with a nigga that don't have much, um, we go do shit like this. Nigga done stole my $30,000 chain that he's wearing on his neck to this day. And what's crazy to me is this is why women always choose niggas that have more money or may seem like they fuck with rich niggas because at least when we deal with niggas that got some, we don't got nothing stealing from us. We don't lose money. You know, that's why bitches choose niggas with money. He will give me my chain back after his tour. His tour been over. That nigga didn't even want to come to my house and get his clothes because he didn't want to give me my chain back. That I had to literally get his clothes and bring it to his brother's house. So... That chain meant so much to him. He was willing to leave all his clothes at my crib. Like, he would not get them out. I don't know if he thought he was going to come back and stay. I know he ain't cheat or nothing like that. I was tired of taking care of a grown-ass man. That's why we broke up. It was no other reason. He ain't cheat on me. None of that. So, but to take from me after I helped you with your credit, let you stay with me, took care of you, that shit is just crazy to me. Like, you cannot give or allow somebody who's hungry anything that's of value because they'll take it. OMB PZ did respond to Future's baby mama and here's what he had to say. Man, that crackhead a liar, man. Man, that crackhead a liar, man. So Future Baby Mama responded to Peasy and said, Did he just call me a crackhead? I don't even smoke weed. But okay, sir, where is the lie? You took my damn chain saying you giving it back after tour. You told your mama that too. Do I need to screenshot it? You didn't live with me. You didn't use my cars because you don't have one. You paid $1,000 in bills in six months, man. Bye. Everyone who was around know the truth. And so do you. Now have it. Boo. Hello? <laughs> Don't you?
it well she didn't call him broke when they was together well she probably did but not you know on social media i just hate when people break up and then they want to out out all the business you should have been said that when you was with him but you didn't so don't come on social media trying to say that now but that's it for the video guys so let me know your thoughts and opinions on these topics down in the comment section below make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell and as always thanks for watching